Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 148, I do believe, and we are back at the slog. I have been many places in the in-between time getting more resources and hooking in some more settlements, and I've been doing that with robot caravaneers, so I thought I would kick off a couple more while we were here. I'm going to have to get out of my power armor to do that. Also, I have uh, did the whole drop the weapon, store the weapons thing so that we have space to work with here, which means that I'm not carrying my... Uh, where was that institute weapon that I was using? Um, hmm. There it is. Recon Overcharged Institute Pistol. Okay. Now I need to bounce out of my armor and grab that fusion core. Okay, and waddle over to our robot workbench and we need to make some new automatrons. So, make we shall. And we're going to make protectron head. Oh. I guess we could try. Let's try and kick off a Robo Brain. And head armor. We'll go with factory. And let's see, torso. No, not Protectron. We want Robo Brain. And front factory. Yes. And rear. Factory. Yes. And what kind of mods? How about a sensor array? There we go. So they can detect bad guys while they're out crossing the Commonwealth. Left arm, let's see. Protectron? No. Robo brain, yes. And left arm armor about actuated frame and then not a claw but what do we have here about a left hand laser or left hand cryojet let's go with that and then for right arm we will go with oh we can't make one because I'm not an armorer. Oh, okay, well. Let's go crazy then. Give you a sentry right arm. And how about something? What looks fun and wicked? Grim plate. There. And not a claw, but. What can we give you? A heavy flamer or a minigun. I like the heavy flamer. Let's do it. Okay. Woe to those who interfere with the fire and ice of Automatron 917. Legs. No, not legs. But. Sentry legs? No. Robobang treads. I don't know, you might need a little extra clearance there. Let's give you those sentry legs. Okay, and some waist armor. Spikes, I like it. And left leg armor. Spikes, good, good. Rear leg armor. It's completely different. Okay. Well, let's give you a storage plate because, you know, you're a caravaneer. And right leg armor. Can we get that spike back? Yes, we can. All right. And now for voice. We don't want you to have a regular voice. This is a wicked looking bot, so you need a bleep bright voice. 
Okay, and then we are going to paint you. What shall we paint you? Well, black actually looks pretty wicked, but... I can't... Oh, I kind of like the pink. Now, if that isn't a warning that danger is coming, I don't know what is. Red... Red's kind of fun, too, actually. I kind of like the red. Alright, red it is. Now... We need to rename you, and we are going to send you to County Crossing. Caravan here. There. Never let it be said that I couldn't be literal. Okay, um, now we need to bounce into Settlement Interface. Oh, that... Yep, yep, just keep... I gave you that voice module for a reason. I, I don't feel like having a conversation. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I thought... I'm sorry, robot. Um, my mistake. Actually, I'll be back later. That's what I thought I was saying to you. I didn't mean to offend you with your awesome weaponry. But what I did mean to do is come here and supply line you to County Crossing. And off you go. Oh, you beautiful thing, you. Look at you go. Okay, so we need to punch out at least one more of these. I've added in some others already, but... And, and I went shopping and stuff, but I think if we tie in one more, we'll get a little bit more resources, and that one... We'll go to... Oh, wait. Before I do that... Oh, wait. I can't cancel out now. I've already started. Nuts. I was going to uh, see if I had enough skill points to unlock armor. Protectron head. No. How about... I guess we can try an Assaultron. Let's see if I have this stuff. Head factory. Head factory hardened. Ooh, I like the hardened one. Let's go with that. And torso, protectron, assaultron, and front armor. Front actuated frame. What's a front? That one would be fun. But we'd need the armor one again. All right, let's go factory. Factory direct to you for your factory. Okay, and torso mod will give you the sensor array so you can spot bad guys out on the road. And that was torso, so left arm, assaultron left arm, and left armor. Sure, we can give you a cruel spiked plate. And left hand claw. Let's see. What a sniper laser. Okay. And. Wait, I picked stealth blade? Alright, I can live with that. Right arm. Oh, we can't, we just can't do right arms, man, apparently. All right, so you're going to have to live with a Protectron right arm. And I'll give you some more spiked armor in case anybody wants to make an issue of it. And then, because we gave you that, let's see what else we can give you. That poor red bot is just having the hardest time. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. Lightning gun or gamma gun? Minigun. Heavy flint. Missile launcher. Missile launcher it is. Okay. That'll teach him to make fun of her right arm. Legs, let's see. I think 
We're going to go with Mr. Handy Thrusters. Give you that off-road capability. And... Cool plate. I don't really... I mean, it's hard to see from this view, but I don't feel like there's a whole lot of difference. Ooh, actuated frame looks kind of cool. Let's try that one. And... So, voice. Let's go with... Let's try... Bleep. I wonder what bleep dark is. Let's go bleep dark. I think I know what it is, but I could be wrong. Now, paint. I'm thinking yellow. That looks like white. That looks like yellow. Okay, and make yellow paint. And then we need to name you. And you, my friend, are going Starlight Caravan here. Okay, I'm carrying too much and cannot run. That's important for me to know right at this moment in time. Thank you for sharing. Starlight Caravan here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, see? I should have given you something slower to move in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to get in my armor just so I can chase her down. Yep. Pretty much going to have to get in my armor to chase her down. Oh. Okay. And there's gunfire. Come on, get in there so we can chase down our new yellow friend. Oh boy, sounds like the defenses are working. Okay, let's go into this and we're going to assign you to a supply line to the Starlight Drive-In. Enter to confirm. And off she goes. Now let's go out and see what's going on. You know, we should, we'll head back and build in a minute. I think I want to take a look over here. It's been a while since we've suppressed the forged here. I think that's what they call themselves. Might be necessary. 16 10 millimeter rounds, 15 5 millimeter rounds, a stim pack. Thank you, Mr. Forge. Then there's also the gunners over there in that junkyard. Okay. Just want to take a quick look. This thing's got quite a kick to it. But it's got a great scope. Come on, show your head again. Oh boy. Hey there, Yella. Whoa. the kick but it's got quite the punch to it too okay stim pack flamer fuel probably gather up that flamer okay and off she goes to the starlight drive-in okay well forged with 10556 rounds 50 flamer fuel a raider with 738 rounds and junk as raiders tend to have okay it's always nice to you know share a friendly exchange of gunfire with the neighbors or institute blue 
laser thing. Okay, okay. We're, we're gonna go talk to Arlen here because I'm tired of listening to him say that every moment I walk by. No. Huh? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. No problem. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Um, sure. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice. You've got an eye for them too, huh? It's a genuine Getty Up Buttercup. The 2076 Special Edition. The Special Best Edition? Toy on the market before the war. It's a shame, though. I don't have all the parts to get this old girl working again. Don't suppose you happen to have a spare crate of toy parts on you? Um, sometimes you never know. But no, not right now. What do you need? Omnidirectional servos, piezoelectric actuators, superconductive mesh wiring. This was top of the line stuff, even before the war. You won't find it just lying around. Um, I guess sorry? Sorry, no. Of course not, but mm, I think I know where you could find some. Not the most glamorous job, but I'm willing to pay. You interested? Pay? Sure. All right, I'll do it. Thanks. This really means a lot to me. There's only one place to look for parts like this. The old Automatoys factory, south of Quincy. Not gonna lie, it's at the far end of the Commonwealth. That whole area's a death trap. Gunners and worse. You, on the other hand, well, you look like you've seen everything. I'm sure you can handle it. Now, where was I? I get to kill gunners, you say? Huh. All right. Well, okay. Let's see. So, one of the notes that I got... Oh, Arlen, I was hoping you'd be quiet. Do I really have to go do that right this moment to keep you quiet? Was to make their windows more window-ish. Those have windows. Okay. See, the thing is, I think we all kind of look at this differently. I do not look at the structure here as, you know, kind of a home. I think of it more as defensive in nature. This is a fortress to me. To me, if I were living in this world, that's what I would want out of it. I would want... to why can i not get you oh you know i swear it was a lot better at this in the past but i would want the uh the concrete all around me so that things like gunfire couldn't get through but and let's see here, let's, come on, oh, heavy sigh, there we go, and I did, uh, sort of a little bit kind of figure out the whole mod positioning thing, but not, not super clearly, but enough, I think. But it, it's not even that, it's just getting them to snap into place. Sometimes I just want to smack it around a little. Okay, oh, and this was an issue. Okay, I think... I did try this before. I started up the whole episode, got about 20 minutes into it before I realized that the settlement was entirely full of building. 
like I had not dropped the size of the settlement. So I reloaded the save and we went back to basically where I started. Minus shopping spree and a couple of caravaneers. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to... So I, I did try and adjust these before. And then add roofs to them. Wait, no. I want to come over here and come to wall and come over to these. This is my compromise of security and wall feature, like and window. Because I think that grating is enough that a bullet would be kind of lucky to get through there. And they'd have to be kind of straight on. But you know what? The people who sleep by that are really going to hate me when it's sunshine coming through there in the morning. Okay, um, let's see. So we will throw a staircase here just so I can get up. No, don't store. We want to go. Up, up. We go. And then we can... We can't actually, for some reason, I just cannot put a roof on this. But I can do this and do that so at least you know they'll get some fresh air and but they won't get all the rain coming in the window it's just it's i think it's really interesting the uh different concerns we have you know like some folks really want the the comforts and amenities and i don't want to get shot and as much as i love the rain i don't want it coming into you know where i'm sleeping so those are my priorities what we need is like a half wall but from top to bottom oh yeah that's that's working out smooth yeah no like just something to to fill that in but that's what we've got for now and it would be a good position for a turret but i think it's probably too close to their beds I wonder if I could build out one more. No. Um, hmm. Oh well. Maybe I could do it. That way. Because we're going to need some more defenses here, I feel. heard. Hey, there's our county crossing caravaneer. Um, having the turrets too close to the beds just makes everybody cranky. and We don't want to do that. We want happy, happy. Wait a minute. Oh, check those out. I didn't notice those. Awesome. Turret and over to missile turret. I'm going to do something a little different this time. We'll see if it works. So we'll give the missile turret some watchers to help spread the joy. Actually, let's get that missile turret up first. And then a spotlight to go this way, and a spotlight. Actually, maybe let's adjust that. There. You can probably do the same on the other side. Now the trick's going to be getting power over here. But maybe, maybe we can work something out. Okay. There we go. Let's 
So let's try this and then I'm going to come in here and okay back to conduit joy conduit pass through joy okay what am I looking at here Oh, oh, had it for a second there. Good enough. Okay, so now we need an attach point. Good. And we'll just draw that to there. That's kind of a Let's nice, see. relaxing hum in that generator. Okay, and back to, whoops, wrong kind. This time we want you and I think like that, oh, a little bit. I drifted a little, oh, I should have just taken what it gave me. There we go. Then we're going to drop to the floor. There's an air vent at my feet. Okay, let's see. Am I going to be able to conduit? Yes. Okay. And now I'm gonna need this and this and that. Okay. Hopefully that's far enough away from the bedrooms that it won't really agitate anyone. And then I think we will put these up instead of running on the floor just so we don't have trip hazards. Actually, we'll go around the skylight. cast too many shadows. Well, I mean, at some point in the day we'll cast a shadow down there, but... Okay, since we're drifting that way, I'm just gonna... Whoa! Drift this guy a little. To start with, whoop, grab power, and... to being a trip hazard because mm, well, well we'll call it a safety a safety feature bonus of trip hazard in case someone tries to come up over the wall okay and there whoa and there and there and connect everyone up There we 
go. Okay. So we've got a little bit of rain protection there. We need some glass. Like, so we could just, like, reglaze windows. That would be kind of nice. I'm going to leave the stairs here for now. So that we can use them a bit more. Hmm. I know it's not the most beautiful window situation, but it is better. I guess we could store this and come here and do that. There. A little bit of extra space in case somebody has to go out to smoke or something. All right, not that we can do that. Drinking glass. So, actually, I mean, we didn't get a whole lot of building done, but we did get a lot of infrastructure ready. We've got caravaneers running around now, and we can build ro or automatons, not just at the Red Rocket. We can build them here now, too. We've seriously upped the defenses and given ourselves way, way more space to build. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we have the stuff to put up any shops. Um, trading stand. Let's go with armor weapons. Weapons Emporium. No, I need Cap Collector Rank 2 for that one. Maybe. We can get somebody set up. Oh, right there. And then. Wait. Food and drink for the locals. We'll put this maybe like over here so that you know maybe they can enjoy the tarberry pool with a drink at hand i wonder if we've got any settlers who aren't currently occupied assigned 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 oh you know all the stuff i did figure out, I didn't figure out that whole um, deleting the beds. These old beds. Hmm. Well, I'll have to try and work that out for next time and see if I can find anybody who's available. Oh, you know what? No, they don't really work for that. I say I could assign an automatron to it, but they don't really do that very well. Hmm, we could. Well, we're going to have to add a bed anyway. Sorry, we're going a little long here, but I just noticed we have more people than beds, even though they're probably including me in that right now. water under those shower heads. Well, fine. Can put a bed there. Put a bed there. Some extra beds. And maybe next time we'll add a few more. Although what I was thinking is if I had enough beds, I could you know what we could do? Just for a quick maybe chance at getting some new folks in here. Floor and mm. well, those floors are somewhere a little too far down. That's too close to the turrets. Oh, 
I'll have to do a little bit better building, I think. Maybe, maybe next time the trick will be to build out here. Although this is not really in a position. It's not in a good place to keep people safe right now. So that's that's my building priority. Safety first, everything else after that. And I still don't feel that the slog is quite safe enough. Anyway, we are a bit past time, so I will say that we will be back next time and we will see about getting some more beds in here and maybe hooking up a transponder to invite some more folks in and we'll see if I can finally ever be satisfied with the defenses here in the slog and if I am then we will start to prettify it and make it someplace resortful for the for wise men all right, for the moment, though, I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. Also, I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel's main page. If you're on mobile, it will be on my channel's About page. I would like to thank you for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome, and you make this an absolute joy to do. And I really do want to thank you for that. I would also like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.